Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you another cool background animation which is a preset in After Effects. So I'm going into File, New and I'm just going to create this document and now I just want to go to Filter, go to Render, Render Clouds. Okay, we have... it's quite cool as it is. So now what I want to do is I want to add Filter I'm going to pixelate and I'm going to mosaic and uh, what I'm after right here now is to try to have quite even the squares so let's see if I'll go smaller I think smaller yeah I think it will look cooler so I'm just going to try something like probably 67 yeah 67 will work fine because as you can see in here it's just about the same size as in here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this layer so I'm going to drag into new layer icon or you can go for command J or control J on a Mac so I'm going to duplicate this layer and I want to transform it so control T command T on a Mac or you can come here edit transform in this case free transform so I'm just going to rotate it like so uh, click OK and now we can see a bit of difference so I'm going to duplicate this layer again so now in this case I want to flip it so I'm going to ed edit transform flip vertical let's see if it looks random yes so as you can see we have three different layers different effects so I'm going to open my timeline panel you can go come here into window timeline or if you're using an earlier version of Photoshop it will be right here in animation so create video timeline but now this is what we need to do I'm just going to bring it right here so you can see what I'm doing as you can see we have this icon right here so let's click that icon and let's bring this down so now it's nice and tidy so now we have frame by frame so what I want to do is I want to create to copy new frame that will be exactly as it is but I want to hide the top layer so I'll hide it I'll click copy and I'll hide the following one I'll click once again right here add the other one click like so show the other one again go like that hide this one like that hide the other one click again add add again show again like this and you get the idea so I'm going to hide this one and now I'm going to hide the other one and I'm going to show it again show top layer again and hide top hide the middle show the middle again the top and you get the idea so now what I want to do is I want to select all of these layers because by default we have it the time and five seconds so I've got this 17 right here selected I'm going to the other to the first one I'm going to hold shift and I'll click it so now I have all of them selected as you may see right here so let's make it a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing and come on okay so there you go <coughs> so now what I want to do is where the time is I want to click right here and I want to add, put no delay 0 0.1 seconds or you can even go for 10 seconds other well, I think I'll stick with 0.2 seconds let's click play and see how it looks yes it's not bad yet I'm happy with that so oops let's take this away and let's put it where it was and now we have can add we can play and as you can see like so and you can see on the bottom here 
I'm going to show it again we have once we can actually loop forever so click play and goes on and on and on and on very cool but even though that in After Effects uh, shows like in grey-ish colors bear in mind that if you want you can go to add a new layer new adjustment layer hue saturation colorize and you can colorize to any color you, you may like just above this and as you can see looks really really cool so now if you want you can export this as a GIF or if you want you can export this as, as a video so file export render video it will give you options where you want to to save it to render to the formats preset the qualities like there's loads and loads and uh, other things if you want to go to save it as a GIF save for web and as you can see it's here and click play and just a matter of saving that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now